As the list of Minnesota law enforcement agencies suspending their school resource officer programs grows to 40, the Minnesota Attorney General is making clarifications about the law the agencies are finding issue with. Keith Ellison's office released a legal opinion Wednesday, making it clear that school resource officers and school staff members are allowed to use force on students to prevent bodily harm or death, but the force must be reasonable. Ellison says the new law has not changed the legal standard of reasonable force. He also clarified what he called significant misunderstandings about the amendment, namely that many believe SROs and staff can't engage in any physical contact to address nonviolent behavior. Ellison says only the following are now forbidden. Prone restraints, any holds that would restrict a student's ability to breathe and voice distress, holds that put pressure on a student's abdomen, back, chest, head, or throat, and holds involving straddling a student's torso. The Attorney General also says it's untrue that SROs and staff can't physically intervene until someone has already been injured.